I'm just working to obtain my samples, so I prep them using dilutions and making standards. We're seeking to advance the knowledge of how drugs cause differences in the brain that depend on sex. In a neuroscience lab, you're looking at a very technical side of addiction. So currently, my project that I'm working on relates to how alcohol dependence can be studied through the context of different auditory discriminatory cues and how those cues can then be studied in brain activity. What we're doing is we're giving large cats, lions, and tigers doses of oxytocin and seeing how that hormone allows them to form connections with each other. Research has a few different benefits that go beyond just the techniques themselves. So it really teaches you to be organized and coordinated. It helps problem solving. It was kind of believed that not many plants make colored nectar. I mean, the first day I went out there, I found like five in the first hour. In a matter of about a week, Leah went through the conservatory and she had discovered about 10 new chemicals that have not been documented before. It doesn't feel like a job. I feel like I'm always learning. Animal behavior in ecology is something I never would have expected to be interested in, and now that I'm doing this research, I've been getting really into it as well. You read about studies, but it's a whole different thing to actually conduct it yourself. We really want, as scientists, to know things. And when you're doing research, you don't know. You don't even know if your hypothesis is correct. You don't know if you've designed the right experiment to test it. You, you don't know if the way you're thinking about it is actually accurate. More things go wrong than right usually, so it's easy to get discouraged and kind of be like, oh, I'm not a good scientist. The truth is, is most experiments fail. And so you have to be creative, you have to be adaptable, you have to be tenacious. One thing about research and plants, there's so much we don't know yet. We pause the video every 10 seconds and we record a few different things. We record the body position of the lion, we record the distance of the lion from the play object, which in this case is a pumpkin. Seeing science applied and the concepts that you learn in your classes, I think that's a very important and impactful thing to observe and take part in. It's okay to not know what you're doing. It's okay to feel lost. That's why you're here. You are here to get that experience. And it's really like a really impressive thing that the university has such an accessible research community to students. In the College of Biological Sciences, we want to make sure that every student has the opportunity to access a research experience. The Dean's Research Program is an application-based program. It is a paid research program, which is amazing if you're a college student. Learning that one of my professors was actually having a lab opening for the DRP program, I was really excited to try and like see if I could get in. On the application form, you're able to indicate which fields of biology that you're interested in. So it's super cool. It's a super cool opportunity for students, especially who haven't been given the opportunity to do research yet. It's just really fun to actually be actively finding results that may end up in a textbook or may end up helping people. Thank you.